Well, former Fed Chairman Paul Volcker isn't very optimistic about the European economy. He says it could take years to restore economic balance across the continent. In an interview with Bloomberg Radio's Tom Keane, he talked about the challenge of trying to boost growth while cutting deficits. Obviously, it would help a lot if the rest of Europe, the strong part of Europe, the German part, French part, which are dominant countries, uh, England is in Europe but not in the common currency, but if they have more growth, that will help these countries on the periphery who are going to have to go through some period of austerity. I don't think that can be avoided uh, because their economies are out of balance. And they've got to restore that, and that's a process It's going to take years. People know Paul Volcker if they've studied economic history from 1979, uh, the courage to bring down very high at the time, I believe, 9% inflation. What they don't know too often about a younger Paul Volcker is there was Bretton Woods, and you had to come out of the carnage of Bretton Woods to a floating regime. And you were very much involved with that, uh, finding a middle ground. Can the currency just solve the problem? Can you, can you have a race to the bottom for sterling and for euro? No, I do not think so. First of all, the inflation rate back in the day you mentioned it was more like 15 percent. I was going to say, I was, I was trying to be diplomatic. Yeah, but it, it was a little yeah. bigger problem than 9 percent <laughs> when you get up into double digits. But uh, no, you go back to that period and uh, we had a balance of payments deficit by today's standards. It looks trivially small. Right. A few billion dollars well in the single digits, not even five billion dollars. Uh, but the dollar was uh, being used too expansively overseas. At that point, we stood ready to exchange dollars into gold. The dollars outstanding got much bigger than the yeah. gold stock. We were losing gold. We had to sever that connection. And we wanted at that point uh, some depreciation of the dollar to improve our competitive position. We got a depreciation of the dollar, but we ended up with quite a lot of stability in exchange markets. And I think we did demonstrate that simply changing the exchange rate doesn't solve many problems. BNP Paribas talks about parity on the euro 2011. Uh, I think of UBS with a not a prediction or a forecast, but an indication of sterling to 105. What will those weaker currencies do to this debate? Does it give a, a safe? Does it give a chance to escape tough decisions? No, uh, and you know, uh, we went through a period historically that we try to avoid going back 50, 100 years. Uh, of people trying to strengthen their economies by weakening their currency. Everybody can't do that. Uh, you know, currency has got two sides or it's got multiple sides. And you can't chase your tail and keep trying to weaken your currency. That's the road to inflation and road to instability.